ENC Media. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hi guys, welcome back again. In this video, Cola Bennett goes live with her favorite bestie, Helen Bellin. On this live, they discuss so much. They talk about life, managing life, talks about life partner, talks about music, talks about what they did in a whole day, like so many things. They discuss a lot in this life. But before we continue, please make sure you hit the red button to subscribe. Drop your comment what you think about this video. Give us thumbs up if you like it. Give us down if you don't like it. See you guys in next video. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. I was I to be like asleep. You. I know, this. guys. I called Allie before. I was like, hey, girl, are you still doing this? She's like, yeah, yeah. I was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah i miss you so much i miss you too how are you feeling are you good so yes i'm feeling okay i'm feeling good um yeah just trying to keep my head above water that's all literally um, yeah <laughs> hey, um, ha yeah what about you how are you i've been doing good i've been Working at home, hanging with Branson, mm -hmm. driving around, eating food. Yeah. I've just been eating so much food right now because, you know, it's... So and I've been craving certain that's things. That's funny. Our cycles you too? still... Yeah. Our cycles... Well, mine just ended. And yours is just... It's just start... Yeah. Branson! Yeah, I think it's because we're just like this. So even, like, across the waters, we assume yeah. that... <laughs> I, Hallie, I hmm. think my accent's getting better. Do, go ahead, do one, do one. Okay, what should I say? Uh, just talk about your morning. Okay. So I woke up this morning, and I got my favorite cereal with almond milk and an apple. And I ate, and it made me really happy. And then I had to pop some Advil because I had terrible, terrible cramps. Mm -hmm. And then mm. I had to do a Zoom call. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I'd give that a strong six. Six out strong. of ten. Should, Mine's okay. worse, though. What, Mine's, do yours go? Uh-uh, I can't even do it. Jonah makes do fun it. of me. He does? My, my accent well, let me is hear. not good. Let me hear Hello, <laughs> my name is Hallie and it is such a beautiful day today here in London town. It's a light and you know, good. I saw a guy walk down the street who was pretty fit. He was so fit, like, and I almost dropped dead right there. Oh, wait, is this real? <laughs> what happened? No, 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 I just made up a story. <laughs> I I'm like, like I'm like. Is I there swear. something that I need to know about that no, I don't know? No, you would have heard. No, girl, you would have heard about it earlier. I that think is funny. Better. Yours wins. Yours wins. <laughs> I think because yeah, that's what you're around, but I mine has definitely progressed from where it was. Yours is way better than it, what it used to be. Before, I don't know what I sounded like. You didn't sound bad, but I have progressed. I have progressed a lot. Well, Ooh. So should we answer questions today? Like, how do you want to do? I think we should. Yeah, we questions. can answer questions. And then do some tea time. Because let yes. me tell you. Usually, I kind of skim through. And I don't really pick the good ones. But I read a few that had my mouth like this. So you went, like, through them? you went through some already? I, I only read through? like two or three, like right before I called. Okay. So then that's good because I didn't look and my Wi-Fi is... I feel like my Wi-Fi glitches all the time. No, you look clear. Really? Yeah. Oh, girl. Okay, so um, make, should we answer questions first? Yes. So okay. wait, you have to click the questions. Oh, I just, do? Okay. You do that? Okay, okay. Here we go. Or can you do that with two people on here or should yeah. I log? Mm -hmm. No, you can do it. Okay. No, stay on. See? Boom. What's y'all favorite color? Can I exit out so I can see your pretty face still? Hold on. What's, what's our favorite color? 
My favorite color is lavender. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Mine and what's is your favorite color? Blue. Is this blue. periwinkle? Yes. I yeah, think it's blue. like a periwinkle, yeah. I think it's like the light blue. I just love any blues. And I'm really excited to love yellows, too. Yellow and blues. Like, okay, what type of yellow? Light yellow? Like pastel yellows? I'm thinking, like, just, like, when you think of, like, the sunshine. Okay. That kind of yellow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, you know what the lavender reminded me of? Go on in your lavender. <laughs> remember that video? You guys know Go on and be great in your lavender. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. That's what that reminds me of. Okay. okay. Oh, I kind of like the questions. Hold on. Wait, Let's I can't see. see. What? Oh, it... hmm? Pause. Hold on. I'm going to. I'm going to come back in because I can't see the question. Why are you leaving? Because I'm going to, I'm just going to X so I can see the question. You want me really to just fast. read it out loud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I won't click on it. I'll just read it out loud. Or you okay, can click on it because I just want to see him. I think my stuff is messing up. Mm -mm, you're good. Dang for it. Oh, this is good. How many kids do y'all want? Oh, I think I want like five or six children five or six wow. yeah i want to be i just you know this about me i love being just i would love to be a mom i feel like that's my life I can one of my that. life purposes one of my main life purposes because i love babies and children so much but i feel like i just want to be that mom who just like lives on like a farm and has a bunch of children and is happy with her husband and just is like living a peaceful life somewhere away from all the chaos so i don't want five or six but mm -hmm. i want like three maybe four mm -hmm. and i want to have like my far away place to like yeah. where i build my own well not build grow <laughs> my own food and stuff because you know me i'm always into those conspiracy theories and i never think reality is very real so mm -hmm. i want to have like a place like say the world goes bad and mm -hmm. we can't get food at the grocery store yep. we saw what happened with just this pandemic people were hoarding tissue paper so no, I'm gonna have a nice far away place. I'm gonna get a bunker under the ground. I'm gonna make it nice because you never know what will happen. Do you and think... you can come through with your family if you need. I'm yeah. I am preparing, and then you, you never think... know. If... Do you think now, there's think... gonna be zombies and stuff later? Well, remember like a few years ago when people were on bath salts and they were saying that's technically like. Uh, like they're like zombies yeah because then they were eating the people weren't they yes, those people would eat people. <gasps> so you don't know what will go down so i'm yeah. gonna be prepared and but question i have a question if you have an underground bunker and an earthquake happens will it fuck up the bunker hi chrissy will it i don't know that's a good you know question but i guess but no, then, I think because cause some of the underground bunkers and stuff, aren't they like, aren't they specifically made for if yeah, an earthquake then, or yeah, something then, happens? Yes, and say there's a nuclear war or something happens. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. I, uh -uh. I know. I'm going to have, so this was this is in my dream perfect land. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a vacation house by the water. Then I'm going to have one far, far away separated from everyone. Like you said, maybe we could have mm -hmm. a little community me and you have it <laughs> on the farm and then have an underground bunker deep 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 mm -hmm. and i also think you're gonna also have a place like in the middle of everything in the middle of the city oh, true. where you go to just like work and stuff and get stuff done because you're that type of person who feels like especially when working you need to like be in the middle okay. of stuff that's happening so yeah. that your other places are just for getting away you know what I'm for, saying? Exactly, exactly. But <sighs> this life is crazy. And then with the mm -hmm. glaciers melting, sadly, lot, the world and planet will get underwater. And let me tell you something. I know everyone's focused on going to space, but we need to focus on getting communities that can be underwater. Because at this point, that people is a are good attention to point. the climate. We need to have underwater cities. And let me tell you something else, Hallie. Only 5% of the ocean has been discovered. 
So 95% is not discovered. I know. That's why I actually believe in mermaids and Under other creatures and everything. I believe in it all because we don't even know what's in the ocean. We don't. We don't. We can't breathe down there. We can't see down there. We can't even go down that far. And 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 because don't our brains, if we go down too far and then come up, our brains can't handle it. Will bust from the pressure. Exactly. Period. So we're gonna have we're gonna have A B C D plan all of that. Cause mm mm. Do you think the creatures in the ocean will be pissed off if we try to go live yeah. there? If yeah, they'd be like, what the hell? They already Thanks. messing up Thank everything. You. Thank you. Yes. And I just, man, so that's, I think we have a plan. We need to work on that. Yeah. Pronto. I agree. Mm, okay. Let's see. How many more questions and then we'll do tea time. Uh, however many you want. I don't mind. Okay. How old are you all? Well, Chloe, how old you are you? You want to answer first? Well, a woman never tells her age, but I'm 20. <laughs> I'm 20 and I'm going to be in March. Yeah, March I'm going to be 21 in March 27. And I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited I'm about excited. it, but it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's just going to be another another birthday, but I'm grateful for another year. So, Well, I'm yeah. grateful for you having another <laughs> year. It's going to be your 21st. Yeah. So are you going to drink anything for the first time? Well, or? you know, my... um. My birthday falls on a Saturday this year, awesome. so I won't be at work. Oh, so I don't know. Turn up with me. Turn yeah, up. Yeah, I don't know. Me. Maybe we'll see. So, Happy. but you know me. I don't really. I just like to just. I'm kind of boring when it comes to birthdays. I feel like Chloe is the more fun one when it comes no, to I'm our gonna, birthdays. I'm gonna plan something. We're gonna do something fun. Okay. We're gonna do something. <laughs> And, and so how I'm old 20, are you, I'm darling? I'm 22, darling. Ooh. 22. And I'm I going to be 23. And I'm it's my Jordan like... year. It's my Jordan <gasps> year. That's right. It's my Jordan year. Yeah. Hello. Pop right on out. So what are you going to do for your 23rd? <sighs> I want to go on vacation. I want to go. Vacation? To... Or vacation. Well, if there's a difference. You never know what happens <laughs> in life. So if stuff happens and I get to go on vacation, then hell mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. But okay, right. <laughs> but right now, like I just want to go somewhere with warm water. Remember when we went to Jamaica and how much fun that was? That was so amazing. That was really really fun. I so I think people. I think that's what I'll do, yeah. and I hope you can come with me. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be fun. All right. Should we do one more question and we go into tea time? Hmm? Sure. Okay. Let's see. Oh, should we get D? Uh oh. Should y'all know I could y'all know mm, hold on no. Y'all know I can talk for mm mm. Stuff for two hours. Okay. It's true, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You See you in the next no video. More? Please okay, don't forget to do oh, subscribe. Tally, do you drive? Do I? Okay, well, I can tell the story now that I passed. What? I said, I guess I could tell the story now that I passed. Yeah, tell the story. What, so what story? I wish we could whisper. I, my drive. I know, right? I miss I know I miss like being <laughs> um my driver's license story. So basically everyone, uh I embarrassed myself three times when I went to the DMV and tried to get my license. I failed three times. No, I failed twice and then I passed the last one. Three times a charm. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know, with the DMV, I just get so nervous, and those, I don't know, it's like, it's it's just the worst feeling I've ever had, it's, it's more nervous than I am when I'm on stage or anything, it's just like, I get such high anxiety, and with the people and the instructors, I just want to do everything right, so the first time, I think the lady just had a bad day, because I came up there, 
And I went in the car and she didn't let me drive for more than two minutes because she said I was driving too slow. Okay, because I was going 30 <laughs> miles per hour when it was 45 area, right? And she could have been like, I wish she would have just been like, hey, girl, you know, you know, that sign says 45 speed limit. You can up the pace a bit, right? I wish she would have just said that and I would have been zooming. I've been good, right? But she literally was quiet. Let me drive for two minutes and goes, turn around, go back to the DMV. You failed. She had an attitude. Yes. So that was the first time. Then the second time, you know, the second time I went again. But I went to Santa Monica DMV. I don't know why I did that at like a Friday at 4 o'clock p.m. And the traffic oh, was bad. Damn. And I, you know when it gets to the yellow and then red, the light, right? I get nervous on those when it flashes yellow. And I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to keep going or whether to slow down if I'm close to passing it. So I froze up. And I just hit the brakes when it was yellow because I didn't want to get, you know, past a red light. And she was like, I saw her. I saw the moment it happened. She goes, mm. oh, and like, right in the thing. And I knew right then and there that I failed. And I got it back. It was in goes, that moment. She and knew. You know what she said to me? She goes, you know, I think you're a wonderful girl. I watch you and your sister on Grownish. And, you know, I think you're going to be a great little mermaid, but you just need a little bit more time behind the wheel, honey. And the way she said it was Whoa. so rude. And I was like, this lady is mean. So then finally, my last one, I was so nervous. I was praying God so much before. And then I passed it. Won't he yeah. do it? Yes, he will. I oh. the mad all times. times. Branson goes, why she say all that? Because she was extra, 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 <laughs> extra, extra. Okay, well, that was, a, I think that was a good story segue into tea time. Okay. So okay, I, girl. That long ass story. No, I loved it. I like okay. hearing your stories. It like makes me feel like you're still here with me. <laughs> okay, let me do, let me go through starred because I starred some. <laughs> hey, Ashley, because I starred some. Mm, hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Mm. What we got? Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? What do we okay, do? here it is. Hallie, this had me gagged. Gagged so much, I didn't even know if it was real. But when she said uh -huh. it happened around 2018, around the holidays, I said, okay, it might be real. So listen to this. Hi, Chloe and Hallie. My name is Kenny. I'm from Houston, Texas. This moment in my life happened in 2018 around the holidays. Me and my ex-boyfriend named Zake, you can say his name, fuck him, oh. were really in love once. He was my first love, my first relationship, and the person I chose to give my virginity to. I worked from home and he worked in a tattoo shop, so I thought. The first time I took him around my family was for Thanksgiving. My mom had some sodas in her truck, trunk and asked if Zake could help her bring them inside. He and her were both outside for a minute, but I didn't think much of it. I thought Wait they a minute, can you say that one more time? His mom. What? He helped his mom take something out of her car. He's a tattoo artist, so she thinks, okay? They were both outside for a minute. She didn't think much of it. I thought they could be getting to know each other. When they came back in, they were smiling and grinning. Very weird vibes, but it was the total opposite the rest of the dinner. About a month passed, and while I was in the shower, I heard Zake talking to a female on his phone. I could barely hear what they were talking about, so I got off the shower and asked them who was that. He said it was a client that wants a touch up on her tattoo. No, I, I still didn't believe it, <laughs> but I didn't want to seem insecure and jump to conclusions because this was my first relationship. I let a week pass. I was still curious on who he was talking to. So I went through his phone. I didn't find anything but a clear call log and a few messages that were for business. But when I checked Instagram, he was talking to a woman and they were talking very disturbingly and inappropriately. Some of the things he said was, I hope you're ready to take this on a Tuesday night and I'm about to <laughs> you up a wall. The things I was reading had me in tears. I decided to, <laughs> 
I decided to wait till Tuesday night to beat him in her ass while his was still in her. Then the next following Wait. days he acted as if everything was fine and I had to do the same even though I was hurting inside. So she was gonna wait for the proper moment to go off. Oops. Okay, you're back. Disturb, I still get calls. By do not disturb does not work. Okay, let me resume the story. That was intermission. <laughs> okay. Then the next following day, he acted as if everything was fine and I had to do the same even though I was hurting inside. Kissing him made me want to slap the dog shit out of his stupid trifling ass. Tuesday night came and he told me he left some things at the shop. He'd be right back. I waited five minutes and followed his location on his phone. How you gonna cheat and have your location on? As I'm driving, I noticed he's driving the same route I drive to my mother's house on Thanksgiving. And when I saw him park in front of my mother's house, my heart dropped. I waited some minutes and decided to go and see what the fuck this nigga doing in my mama house. My mom keeps a spare key under the mat, so I used it to get in, and as soon as I got in, I hear a loud moan. I quietly, <laughs> I quietly tipped upstairs to her bedroom and caught Zake and my mother in the missionary position. I dragged Zake out of my mother's room and beat the living shit out of him and broke up with him that same night. I tried to see where my mama went, but her ass took the car keys and left during me beating Zake's ass. He tried to apologize, but ain't no coming back from that. Turns out he lied about working at a tattoo shop, too. This nigga was a drug dealer and not the ones that sells weed. Me and my mom don't talk to me anymore. It's going to take me a while to want to know what really was going on between them and why she would do this to her daughter. Wow. That's foul. That's below the belt. Your own mother? If Girl. anything, if anything, just be honest. If the mom felt that way about the girl's man, she should have just said, hey, girl, I'm feeling your dude. Hallie, but hold on. Hallie, how can, <laughs> the <mom? laughs> how can the mom even go to the daughter and say, I want your man? That's better than the daughter catching them together. Ooh. Honesty is the best policy, cause then the well, she, the mom just not do it at all. Exactly, but if it happened, the mom need to come to the daughter and tell her that the son, I mean that that dude that she's with. Yeah, the the daughter that came out of the mom's coochie, the mom now wants the daughter's man to be in her coochie. That's bad. That's messed up. So that that was the, that. Do you want, okay, you gonna read the next one? You found a good one? So I don't have a good one yet. Do you have another one? I see okay. the starred ones. Should I just read one of the starred ones? Sure, but I, but some of them are kind of weak. So you just gotta kind of just skim through. Like, so okay. you just make your best judgment, okay? Okay. Okay. So this mm. is, mm. maybe mm. you should just read the next story because I'm having technical difficulties. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got the book of stories right here. Okay. Hold on. Uh oh. Now she having technical problems. Okay, no, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I'm just, let me take this off this case. The oh, Wi-Fi is just... Huh? My Wi-Fi is like bad. Sorry. But... Okay, so. This is a good one because I did. This is just so outrageous. What? Because it made me laugh. It's more made me laugh <laughs> than the tea. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. the subject is called "My friend pulled his out on Facetime." Echo and Hallie, love you guys. Also, I would like to remain anonymous, of course. My friend and I always had this weird relationship where we would flirt with each other, even though he had a girlfriend. At school, he would put his hands on me inappropriately when no one was looking, and I always thought about his girlfriend, but if I brought her up, he would stop, and I secretly didn't want him to. Mm -hmm. One day after school, we were on FaceTime, and long story short, he pulled his out on FaceTime. I thought it was his finger, but then he stroked it. Wait, what? <laughs> He thought it was his finger. He thought what was his finger? He pulled something out on FaceTime and she thought it was his finger until he stroked it. 
I didn't know what to say and felt frozen. So I stayed on the call with him and acted like nothing happened. When the call ended, I texted my best friends after contemplating for a while, and they were shocked, also not surprised, and found it gross. I got over him because him doing that made me realize what kind of person he was. But we still stayed friends. He's still with his girlfriend, and I sometimes wonder if he cheated on her with me. Hold on. <laughs> That's the story. Okay, well, that dude is just, he sounds like he is just inappropriate. I just... Cause she won't. She was not asking for that. And for you but to she randomly... also wasn't telling him no. She said they would be in the hallway and he would inappropriately touch her. And she said, "But isn't that harassment?" Like... But she said she liked it. I don't know. Something's weird there. And she <laughs> said, "She said, did he cheat on his girlfriend with me? Do you yes. think he cheated? Do you think that's cheating if a man pulls out his?" finger thing on the camera absolutely if i'm dating somebody and i hear that my dude is on facetime with another girl and mm -mm, that's cheating to me i don't know about you question i don't know about you with, i'm trying when i break up with my man oh hell yeah no that's no that ain't even that? a question that's cheating yes that's cheating mm -mm, no okay what is this one okay you read it go it's your time This okay, this insanity. doesn't make any sense. Okay, this one does not make any sense. I'm sorry. All right. Okay, this one is called The Threesome I Didn't Ask For. Hi, girls. So I was friends with this guy I worked with, and we were really close. He would tell me everything, like how sometimes he would hook up with guys. Okay, I never judged because he was my friend. He starts hooking up with this other guy at our job, but no one knew, just the three of us. A few months later, we get a new girl, and she was cool, and me and her started hanging out a lot. Then all of a sudden, she starts dating my guy friend while he's still messing with the other guy at our job. So I was kind of stuck because they were both my friends, so I said something to the bi guy telling him this is messy wait he says, so what happened okay she has this friend at work right who's a guy right she found out that he likes to sleep with dudes too right okay. then a new girl comes to their job then the guy starts dating this new girl okay got it while he's still messing with this guy at their job okay got it got it so she was stuck because they were both her friends. So she said something to the guy friend telling him, dude, this is messy. He said he's going to stop messing with the guy we worked with, which he didn't. A few days later, I'm at work and he just stopped talking to me. Long story short, he switched the names in his phone so that my name comes up when the guy from work texted him. So in the oh. thread, all the d pics were in there like he sent them to me oh. she found them and stopped talking to me but he still wants to be my friend i blocked him and he still stalks me from private numbers and fake pages what should i do oh so she got thrown under the bus for and she didn't even do anything what do you think she should do do you think she should tell Listen, if it's if she's friends with the girl and it ruined their friendship, I absolutely think she should say. She should say, listen, there's there's a huge misunderstanding. Your man ain't with me. He's with another man. I would just say, listen, I'm going to just be real with you, but I'm going to just let you know it ain't me. Exactly. Those pictures were not sent to me. But But you can't just go and tell her that. You have to... You have, because if she still wants to be friends with that girl, you got, you got to be honest because at that point, I'm sorry, man, but you dragging other people into your business and, and mm -mm, no. so you think you got to back it up with some proof. Yeah. She just needs to tell, be honest. Say, listen, 
I'm not messing with him. He's messing with such and such. And he changed the name. And I, the only reason why I'm telling you this is because, is because I'm getting to, yeah, and our friendship is down the drain because of that. Mm -hmm. And just keep it like that because and then someone said, just show the original text between them. Yeah, but you know, people be getting on their CIA sign, all that, and they know how to change the names and do that and forward screenshots. So, mm -mm, no. Okay, should we do one last tea time? Yes. Okay. Oh, no, I think I ran out of starred ones. So I'm going to have to uh -oh. wing it. <laughs> Oh, we did this one last week. Hold okay. on. Okay. Hold on. We were getting. So I saw on my phone new emails were coming through. Okay. Okay. While we're on here, so there's new. Wow. <laughs> what? This might be good, y'all. Oh, what you think, oh, Chloe? Too much. It's too much. Chloe's eyes. Oh no! This is too sad for tea time. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, this is good. This is good. Okay. This is good. I just kind of skimmed through it, so don't don't fault me if I'm wrong about this. Okay. Okay. Falling from my ex's best friend. Hello, beautiful ladies. If you can introduce me as Petty Fool. Petty Fool? Yeah, she wants to be introduced as Petty Fool. Okay. Hey, Petty Fool. Love what you're doing. Stay booked and busy and winning for the girls. Thank you, boo. <laughs> okay. Anywho, <clears throat> to make this story short, as I can, I'm 26 and I moved to a new state with my ex and we lived together for three years. Throughout the relationship, there was turmoil and it followed up to him cheating on me three times. We broke up and I went back to the state where we were from to visit family and ended up linking with one of his friends. It was just chill at first because I was cool with all of his friends and family. Okay, so that night we had a little too much to drink and ended up making out. And it was amazing. It had awoken this attraction to each other that we didn't know we had. From that point, once I came back home, I had my own place, by the way, we continued to talk and flirt. It was apparent that we had chemistry. Mind you, this was never supposed to happen. However, I didn't feel bad. It was like an emotional switch. I didn't give a fuck whose friend he was. Fast forward several months later, I went back to see family again in that state. She knew what she was doing. She wasn't going back to see family. And the guy ended up hooking up with me. Y'all, we agreed to not push past what had already happened and to not have a relationship and to salvage what friendship remained with him and my ex. I rolled my eyes when he said that, because, but I'm so attracted to this man. I guess the thrill of it all gave us some skill to not get caught. So update. Okay, she said. Thanks so update. for watching. Came into town Please don't forget to subscribe for more updates. While the other friend was Thank in the you. living room asleep. So the ex and the friend were all in the apartment at one time and they messed around in the bathroom. It's been a game of sneaking around and recently we had a fight and I'm slowly starting to see his personality and it's a clear red flag. But the it's too good to give up. At least while he's in town. <laughs> Hope you read my story. Well, uh, she needs to figure out if they're actually really attracted to one another or they're attracted to the fantasy of sneaking around. Like, they're attracted to the fantasy. And I think what gets her more hot is how she can get the revenge on her ex. Because I think she really is only keeping contact with her ex so she could just get back at him because she never once said in this email she still has feelings for him. Yeah, this doesn't make much sense to me. I think she's going the wrong way because then, like, the boyfriend, well, the ex-boyfriend finds out, then, you know, he's really going to go ham on all the girls, you know, and then she's going to get hurt by that, and then she's going to realize she don't really like the, the boyfriend, I mean, the friend of his. Yeah. Well, petty fool. What you want us to call you? I wish you.